Detective Pikachu. I totally want to see that movie. It looks great. Just for the fact that it's fucking Ryan, like Ryan Reynolds. Deadpool 3, The Great Mouse Detective. <laughs> <laughs> I would totally go see that. That's basically what it is. <laughs> What's up, guys? David here. Whoa, two, two, and it's discussion day. Yes, I haven't done a discussion day in a while because we've been uh, really focused on the top 10 best cards in every main set of the game. However, I decided uh, today's going to be, uh, or the, rather, this week is a short week due to the fact that I got to drive up to Rochester, say hi to Ryan, you know, do our secret handshake. <laughs> Should have had that glass of wine before recording this. So I wanted something that was not going to take me a ton of time to edit because uh, I may or may not be able to actually do any of this on Wednesday. So that's definitely a thing. Also, uh, I think I got the uh, manual focus li focal length set. So if I am not blurry, there you go. And if I am blurry, yeah, Parker, too bad. <laughs> And today's discussion video is going to be a uh, kind of a matchup between my ban list predictions and maybe just a general discussion of one particular card in general. Parker, you're polluting my audio. You are cute, but you pollute. Because it is ban list season after all, and uh, my birthday is actually on Thanksgiving this year. So if you guys are watching this on Thursday, happy birthday to me. Send me all of the birthday wishes. I'll be a a staggeringly old 29 for anyone who is con who is who is uh, curious. I'm an old fogey. I remember the time when they were called magic cards and not spell cards. And the interesting thing about this format that I've kind of noticed going forward is it's almost okay. Ah yes, between every single one of the FTKs that are running around in this game, we actually have some pretty fair, solid meta tier decks that aren't overbearing and totally whack. So how would I, Davinator1, 2, and 2, fix the current format with my ban list? Well, when you do a ban list video, you kind of can split it up into two things. Predictions and a wish list. Predictions? Um, I don't know. Pretty, pretty mild, actually. I would say maybe Cannon Soldier. Uh, maybe Greffa? I doubt it though. But other than that, um, I'm not actually sure what you would hit in this format in order to fix it. You could say that maybe Gogies or Sky Strikers could use, uh, a little bit more of a, more of a hit. I know in the OCG they got, a, like, what is it, Widow Angers at 1. However, if you look at the, uh, the pie chart from the last YCS, uh, was it, was it Pasadena? Does that sound right? Sure, uh, Sky Strikers had a decent representation, uh, but I would not say that uh, that uh, anything particularly needs it as far as that is concerned. And as far as other predictions, you could say that, hey, maybe the dangers are just a little bit too loopy and a little bit too easy to abuse. However, their uh, main set support run is not over yet, so it would be very unlikely that we would see any hits on the dangers until they get their final wave of support because they want to sell them new products. And yeah, pretty much uh, any time Konami ever hits anything on the ban list, or put something off of the ban list, it's normally under the assumption that it is to sell something. Like, Stratos only came off the last list probably to sell that hero box. So, you know, that's why we have n nice things, or can't have them, depending on what we're talking about. Sell packs. So, you know, uh, I really kind of have this feeling the next ban list is going to be particularly unimpressive, mostly because I don't think anything in the format has any actual likelihood of getting hit. Now, if we want to talk about my birthday wish wish list, then we're not, we're, we're delving out of, uh, we're delving out of prediction territory and we're into what I would like to actually see happen, but... Uh, a ban list that's saying this would be a good ban list and this is a likely ban list are completely two different videos. Yes, I don't think they're going to hit very much if they could hit anything at all. Might be a couple of tweaks, maybe to Cannon Soldier, like I said. But however, if I had a wish list, there'd be a couple of cards. One, Destiny Hero Malicious is really, really good and Armageddon Knight is also really, really good. Perhaps, maybe, uh, for the betterment of the game, one of them should go to two. I would not say I want either of those to go to two, because, you know, as a person who got back into competitive Yu-Gi-Oh! playing, like, Synchro Zombies back in the XC era, and that was my first take on an actual, like, you know, building a deck with a mechanic I had not really previously used very much before, um, uh, I would be very sad and hard-pressed to want to see Mali and Armageddon Knight go to anything but three. However, the Dark Warrior FTK and Dark World 
or Dark Warrior Danger, or whatever the hell the name of that deck is. Yeah, they're loopy, they're crazy, the extra link, like, the nuts, and it's probably not exactly very healthy to the game to have such a generic summoning mechanic like links and having such an easily spammable monster like Destiny Hero Malicious. Not only is Malicious just great link fodder, you can also run, like, Destiny Draw, which is a decent draw card so there's a lot of really fun crap you can do with malicious he might be a little bit too good for modern Yu-Gi-Oh, which is really sad and annoying but sure this isn't the first time we've had cards that have reverse power crept themselves where they got better over time i'm looking at you aqua dolphin and grinder golem and maybe perhaps a hit to engage or widow anchor might be nice for the game because uh we have this really annoying position where we were like in the middle of the necros era where we have the most expensive deck was a hard to pull short printed special deck from a special set not a main set so the scarcity of the deck makes it extremely expensive and the power of the deck makes it ex even more expensive which is just annoying for the secondary market and for anyone who wants to be a competitive Yu-Gi-Oh player that's just really frustrating because it's like oh I need my engages if I want to play a good deck but they're like a million dollars so perhaps another hit to them might actually be healthy for the game although like I said in the previous part of the video I don't think it's really gonna be very likely and then and then uh, we get to the elephant the elephant in the room Cannon Soldier. Man, this thing's been in every FTK since the dawn of time. Why don't they just ban this thing already so we can have nice things? I I'm kidding. Although that that's not a bad opinion. I, I kind of have that one, but no, no, I'm kidding. It's Firewall Dragon. Can Firewall Dragon stay in the game? Well, uh, it's a really hard thing to say because Firewall Dragon is inherently a loopy card. It is not a once per turn, and any time a card leaves as one it points to, it summons a monster from the hand. So presumably... If you have a way to send a monster from the field to the graveyard over and over again, and a monster that keeps putting itself back into a hand, you could, in theory, just keep Link summoning over and over and over again until uh, you extra Link or you create some dumb burn loop with something like Cannon Soldier. Obviously, this brings up the opinion that not just Firewall Dragon should probably not be in the game, but any monster that doesn't have a hard once per turn attached to its effect, because somewhere down the line, one of them will cause a problem. And Firewall Dragon is absolutely no exception. The fact that it just keeps summoning crap is really kind of dumb. Have you ever seen the Lycoris Lily Bell Firewall Dragon loop? As impressive as it is to watch on a live stream and some, watch some dude win with that on a, at a YCS. <laughs> it's, it's not the healthiest thing for the game. And uh, uh, yeah, it seems like Firewall Dragon just keeps getting in the middle of all these FTKs. And that's just really dumb and also boring to play against. But should he be in the game? He definitely facilitates the Link mechanic more than any other monster in this game. Sure, he's a massive investment for you because you have to make a Link 4 monster and then actually have other things to do after that in order to actually utilize his effect. Plus, it's like some serious wombo combo Link climbing in order to get to that kind of point, so it's not exactly the easiest deck to play. But uh, if you actually know how to do the combos, you can certainly just kind of keep going and going and going like an Energizer Bunny as long as you get Firewall Dragon on the board. And to take him out of the game would pose a problem for promoting the Link mechanic, which Konami has pretty much put all their eggs into one basket for, for the perceivable future until they, you know, was it like three or two years from now when they come up with a new mechanic that replaces Link monsters. Like how Synchros went to Xyz and then Pendulums and Links. I really doubt we'd ever get a Master Rule 5 which actually gets rid of Links or makes them not work the way they work, kind of like how uh, pendulums got drastically changed. I don't think that'll ever really happen again for the game unless we just completely dump the rules and turn this whole thing into uh, analog dual links, which that's another discussion video whether or not I think that's actually going to happen. Hint, hint, I actually think it might. But no, as long as we have these blue cards in our extra deck, Firewall Dragon definitely needs to exist in some capacity simply because he facilitates the mechanic way too well. He kind of reminds me of something like, I don't know, Level Eater when it came to Synchro Summoning or Glow Up Bulb. Just a very, very intricate part of the mechanic. It's just a very good card that utilizes it and, and abuses it just well enough in order to actually make it viable for a strategy. Because I believe it was, uh, I believe it was DZ that said one time, there are plenty of really good cards in this game, but the only ones that everyone ever plays are the ones that are unfair. If a card is too fair, no one uses it. It doesn't matter if it's really nifty or its effect is cool. If it's like a one for one, it's probably 
probably bad. So, in order to really make sure the competitive scene is moving forward, we do need cards like Firewall Dragon that facilitate the mechanic to a broken level to actually kind of keep the game moving forward. Because we want to know the next dumb firewall loop. What is it? We gotta keep buying product to do that. It keeps the game alive. It keeps everything healthy. However, him being abused for degenerate burn loops was certainly not the spirit of the card. So it comes down to whether or not we want to keep Firewall Dragon for the betterment of Lynx and start banning things around him, or just get rid of the problem card. Uh, seems that Konami seems to keep hitting cards around him because they want to keep him in the game, and it's probably for the reasons I said. It helps promote the mechanic. Without him, Link summoning actually becomes quite difficult. And the extra Link mechanic, as kind of cheesy as it is, is an interesting win condition that is inherent to the mechanic. And without a Firewall Dragon, that becomes a hell of a lot harder to do. So, you know, it's a little cheesy to have the best part of your mechanic fall into the realm of opening all five pieces of Exodia. Yeah, you could technically do it, it'll just never happen because the cards you need just don't exist or they're just it's too unlikely to order to open the god hand to do it. Having extra link be a viable win condition is probably good for the game and good for the mechanic, because otherwise, uh, it, what would be the point of having it even as an option if it's completely undoable? On the flip side of that, it does seem kind of silly to keep swarming our ban list with cards that are otherwise completely unplayable, like that stupid, what is it, it's a Lotus thing. It's just a terrible card, it would never see play, it's in Duel Links and no one uses it but it just happens to accidentally work with Firewall Dragon to create a dumb burn loop. So that kind of thing is, is it really okay to keep filling our ban list with a bunch of dumb cards if it means we can keep Firewall Dragon in the game? And I actually am a little unsure about what opinion I want to have on this. I'm kind of in the camp of uh, how Konami's actually dealing with it, which is a little unusual, a little outside the realm of what normal people like, but I kind of like Firewall Dragon to promote the link mechanic and Honestly, does anyone care that that lotus thing got banned? Uh, I didn't care. That other plant thing, did anyone care? I mean, most people didn't even know what it did. They're like, why is this banned? They had to like look it up. Like, the reason why they even know the card exists is because it's that one weird card that got put on the ban list that one time. Sure, it seems a little silly to keep banning weird random cards instead of getting rid of the problem card, because clearly Firewall Dragon is the problem card, but if the good outweighs the bad in the sense that it keeps the game moving forward, keeps people buying product, and actually keeps the game alive. Uh, maybe it's worth the do-nothing, you know, GX-era pack filler cards that no one even remembers exists, just staying in tins and going uh, completely unnoticed. But uh, as always with my discussion videos, like I actually want you guys to talk about this in the comments below, what you guys think of Firewall Dragon. Uh, try to stay away from the common, oh, it just should be banned opinion. Now, give me a good reason why, as opposed to, like, you know, maybe you really like that Lotus thing. <laughs> so, let me know comments below what you guys think. Remember, guys, if you don't troll the meta will, I will see you guys after Thanksgiving. Ah, don't you know what to do? Think all you like, you're still gonna stomp that subscribe button. Make sure to watch these other videos. Come on, quit stalling. Fossilizing over here. Slow play. Judge!